Hey guys, thank you for watching the Slat Rock channel. If you're new here, don't forget to check out our previous video, 10 WWE matches that ruined a wrestler's career. Also check out our other high rated videos by clicking at the upper right hand corner or down in the description field. Guys, as you may have seen in our previous video, one match can break a superstar's career. Today we present you with 10 WWE matches that saved a wrestler's career. Number 10, Mark Henry vs. The Big Show, Money in the Bank 2011 While Mark Henry's 10-year contract with the WWE put considerable cash in his pockets, his career had little to show for it as frequent injuries and poor booking had made him one of the highest-paid mid-card acts in company history. In 2011, the WWE decided to give Henry another chance, booking him as a monster heel, something that his past performances suggested would fail. Thanks to an impressive brawl with The Big Show at 2011's Money in the Bank, Henry got over as a monster, crushing The Big Show's ankle in a chair and making Show the first member of Henry's Hall of Pain. Whether the Hall of Pain led to Henry's induction into this year's WWE Hall of Fame is up to you to decide. Number 9. Daniel Bryan vs. Sheamus, WrestleMania 27 a superstar losing their world championship in 18 seconds at the showcase of the Immortals should have been the ultimate burial, but Daniel Bryan turned his squash loss into a career victory. Or more importantly, the fans did when they grew so irate with the WWE's treatment of him that they created the Yes Movement, forcing the WWE to push Daniel back into the main event. Sometimes bad booking can lead to good things. Number 8. 123 Kid vs. Razor Ramon, Raw, 1993 In 1993, Sean Waltman looked like he could fit in well as a talented enhancement star in the WWF. However, that changed when he upset Razor Ramon during an episode of Monday Night Raw, transforming from the Kid into the 123 Kid, a brash underdog who could upset opponents. Waltman's career blossomed as a member of D-Generation X and in solo action as X-Pac. Number 7. Shawn Michaels vs. Triple H, SummerSlam 2002 Shawn Michaels' 1998 back injury seemed to have ended his career, with the Heartbreak Kid staying out of in-ring competition since his match at WrestleMania 14. Fans were shocked when Michaels returned to competition in an unsanctioned bout against Triple H at 2002's SummerSlam putting on a matte classic and proving he still had it. Michaels discovered his back had healed and he returned to the ring, feuding with Helmsley and working until his 2010 retirement. Had Michaels' SummerSlam match with the game been a dud, his comeback likely would have ended that night. Number 6. Cesaro vs. Sheamus – Best of Seven Series Cesaro's success on the independent scene led to mixed results in the WWE, with the Swiss Superman only having the United States Championship, the Raw Tag Team Championship, and a win at the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal to show for it. Sheamus, a former WWE and World Heavyweight Champion, was in a rut when he was thrown into a Best of Seven series against Cesaro, a program with no apparent role other than to take up space. The series was initially met with yawns by fans, but these changed to hurrahs thanks to the fantastic matches the two had. Ultimately, Cesaro and Sheamus became a tag team, winning the Raw Tag Team Championship and deservedly earning the nickname The Bar because they set the standard for tag team wrestling. Number 5. Braun Strowman vs. James Ellsworth – Raw 2016 While James Ellsworth's WWE career lasted only about a year, it's about a year more than had originally been planned. In 2016, Braun Strowman battled, or more like battered, Ellsworth in an old-school squash match designed to get Strowman over as a monster heel. In the process, the fans fell in love with the underdog Ellsworth and he had an improbable WWE run, including a pinfall win over AJ Styles. While Ellsworth is gone from the WWE, the exposure was a huge boost to his career on the indie scene. Number 4. Heath Slater and Rhino vs. The Usos – Backlash 2016 The WWE Universe was not only surprised to see Rhino back in the company, but surprised to see Heath Slater was still working there. Slater, the former hottest free agent in sports entertainment, had long since descended into jobber to the star's status, but found his career rejuvenated when he teamed with Rhino. The Dynamic Duo, not to be confused with the Dynamic Dudes team of Johnny Ace and Shane Douglas, won 2016's SmackDown Tag Team Tournament, defeating the Usos in the finals. 
Fans wondered whether the team nicknamed Beauty and the Man Beast would be more than fleeting champions saw Slater and Rhino vindicated with successful title defenses, including a fantastic match at 2016's Backlash that established both as legitimate stars. Number 3. Seven Man Gauntlet Match – Raw 2018 Fame can be fleeting in the WWE. Whether it's a superstar disappearing from an extended injury to find the fans have moved on, or a turn leading to a lukewarm reaction, while Seth Rollins successfully came back from injury without losing a step, his face turn saw some fans questioning his status as a top babyface. After the short-lived Shield reunion, Rollins' future as a top star seemed to be in flux, particularly with stars like Elias and Braun Strowman on the scene. Thankfully, his work in the seven-man gauntlet match on Raw saw Rollins wrestle for over an hour, and although he lost the match, his performance, including pinfall wins on John Cena and Roman Reigns, pushed him back to the top. Randy Orton vs. Jinder Mahal – Backlash 2017 Okay, we're still scratching our heads at the thought of Jinder Mahal WWE Champion. How could a guy known as Enhancement Talent become a world champion? Mahal was let go from the WWE and brought back, only to be headed for more nights counting the lights. However, at 2017's Backlash, Mahal upset WWE Champion Randy Orton, winning the belt and going on to have a nearly six-month-long title reign. While fans questioned Mahal's viability as a champion, his run escalated him from jobber to upper card star, proving good booking can take even the most worn out stars and rejuvenate their careers. Number 1. Chris Jericho vs. Stone Cold and then The Rock, Vengeance 2001 While Chris Jericho is firmly entrenched as one of the WWE's top stars from the 21st century, that wasn't the case in 2001. Jericho, who jumped to the WWF in 1999 because he felt he was being misused in WCW, saw his career falling flat in the WWF. Jericho pressed on and his perseverance paid off when he defeated The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin in two separate matches at 2001's Vengeance to become the undisputed WWF Champion. While Jericho's career would have its ups and downs afterwards, this showed he could main event, and the WWE eventually elevated him to main event status for much of his career. Well guys, there you have it, 10 WWE matches that saved a wrestler's career. What do you think of our selections? If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to get more videos just like this one, and the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and as always, thanks for watching.